Well, I don't know what control she has over the company or what role she plays in those decisions, but I think certainly you, if you own a company that's doing things that you're criticizing, then I think that you're in a position to say, you know, I'm going to divest from that company or I'm not going to be involved with them anymore because they're doing something that runs counter to my interests. Uh, run, runs counter to my principles, uh, and I'm not going to let my interests get in the way of my principles. On the broader issue of construction, whether it's that or the extension of the highway, you know, the Everglades restoration is something that I've really fallen in love with in the last four or five years, have made it a top priority. It's one of the things I really want to leave behind when we're done here is having that completed. And I understand we have an urban development boundary. That mall, I think, edges right up on it. Uh, it's there for a reason. Uh, my entire career, I've been very pro-development, and I continue to be, but I get a little I'm more, uh, how should I say this, I'm more cautious than I used to be about simply saying all development is good the closer it gets to the Everglades because any project that, that gets close to that line could potentially attract additional projects close to that line and once you get people and buildings and stuff built there on that line it makes it harder to do those other projects that are critical to restoring the Everglades. The Everglades is a national priority and it is a statewide priority.